Hello again, here in Mwanza in Tanzania on the far northwest kind of corner with Lake Victoria behind me. Um, quite a small city here, but it's still pretty nice all the same. Today heading back to Dar es Salaam with an airline called Precision Air. They are one of the domestic airlines here in Tanzania, Comp competing with Air Tanzania on all these domestic routes, flying a little fleet of ATRs and things. So we're gonna take a little ride back to Dar es Salaam. Let's go. Mwanza Airport's about a 20 minute drive from the centre of Mwanza. It wasn't long before we were arriving at the airport. Mwanza Airport's typical of many airports in this part of the world and has an outside waiting area where you hang around until your flight is called. Dotted around the waiting area are all the different offices for the airlines that fly in and out of Mwanza. See, I know I paid well over the odds for that taxi. Um, it should have cost me about £8 and I ended up paying about 20 but I just don't get why people would haggle. I mean, it would cost me that at home for a taxi of a similar sort of distance. He took me all the way into town and brought me all the way back out again and it only cost me like 20 quid. Um, and I'm not being funny, that 20 quid is far better in his pocket than it is mine. Um, it means a lot to him and to me it's like a few drinks or a few cups of coffee whereas to him it could make a massive difference. So yeah, I just don't get when people like start haggling over stuff like that. The Tanzanians do seem to like a bit of a dance and a sing-along. These guys seem to be having a jolly nice time singing about the perils of coronavirus. Once I'd finished watching this week's Strictly Corona Dancing, it was time to double check I hadn't brought my harpoon or spear gun and head through to departures. Airside at Mwanza isn't that much nicer than landside to be honest, but you do at least have walls and the dancing here on the TV seems to be school children singing about how great Tanzania is. Before too long, a bus turned up to take us out to my ride back to Dar es Salaam. Boarding was a bit of a scramble as the entire departure lounge squeezed through a single door and out to the bus. Mwanza Airport has a very strange layout. The terminal seems to be nowhere near the apron, so the bus takes you down a track that eventually leads you onto a taxiway and then down to the apron where my ride to Dar es Salaam was waiting. And here she is, the ATR that would take me back across Tanzania. It's an 11 year old ATR 72500 delivered brand new to Precision Air in 2009. Hello. 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 Oh, Alpha. Thank you. Once on board, the cabin's actually pretty smart. The seats are fairly modern and finished in a nice dark green leather. After a short taxi and a backtrack, it was time to take off my flight back across Tanzania. This leg today then took us across to Kilimanjaro. We flew quite a curvy track across northern Tanzania, cruising at 24,000 feet with a flight time of 1 hour and 14 minutes. 
So then today's flight to Dar es Salaam stops in Kilimanjaro on the way to pick up a few more passengers and we carry on for the last bit. It's a pretty smart aircraft, quite nice inside. Um, there's no onboard service or anything on Precision Air, it's really no frills. Um, so it's just pretty much a seat on a plane, that's all you get, which is okay, it's only for like an hour, hour and a half maybe. But not too bad really, legroom's decent. For an ATR at least, these seats are quite smart. Very modern seats that we have here on the ATR 72. About an hour then across to Kili and then we continue down to Dar es Salaam. out of the window is pretty impressive as we flew along the coast of Lake Victoria. I did have to have a giggle at Precision Air's slogan, you are why we fly. I just can't imagine many passenger airlines running empty flights just for fun. Precision Air are 40% owned by Kenya Airways who sell flights on a co-chair basis with Precision Air. Despite this, Precision Air haven't turned a profit since 2012 and in 2019 posted a loss of over 13 million US dollars. Perhaps that explains the lack of onboard service. Precision Air charge roughly the same as government owned Air Tanzania on domestic flights here, who do offer food and drinks on their domestic flights, which does perhaps seem a little bit unfair to private companies like Precision Air. It wasn't long before we started our descent down into Kilimanjaro. Most passengers seem to have got off here. I'm not sure how many more are going to get on um, for the leg down to Dar es Salaam. There is direct flights between uh, Moanza and Dar anyway, so it's no surprise that most people will opt for one of those rather than this connecting flight that only an aviation geek like myself would do. Um, but we've got about 20 minutes on the ground here and then onwards to Dar. <laughs> As we taxied out, we passed a Beach 1900C of Flight Link. Don't forget to check out my video on them if you've not seen it already. It was a really fun day on a very rustic old aeroplane. Dar then took us southeast across northeastern Tanzania. Flight time for this leg was 1 hour and 9 minutes, cruising at 22,000 feet. So a couple of passengers got on at Kilimanjaro, but not many, not as many as I thought there would. And we're now airborne from Kili, heading back down to Dar es Salaam. We've got, let's see, about an hour and 5 minutes until we land back down there, according to good old Sky Demon. The weather's a bit clearer this way anyway. It's about an hour, just over an hour until we get back down into dark. It wasn't long before we were approaching the bright lights of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania's biggest city. You can 
spot the super rare Air Zimbabwe Boeing 737-200 taxiing out. Air Zimbabwe operate them on the Dar es Salaam to Harare route. One thing I've noticed during my time in Africa is just how varied the quality of the airlines can be. It's quite easy to be on a beaten up old airliner for one flight and then get on a brand new modern aircraft with professional crew the next. This can only mean one thing, aviation here is on the up and it's airlines like Precision Air who are driving this trend. Thank you, bye bye. Even domestic flights in Tanzania have to go through an x-ray machine before leaving the airport which I don't quite understand. Once outside it was time to try my luck with an Uber again. To say they're sporadic in Tanzania is a bit of an understatement, most of the time they just never turn up, but today's actually called me and asked me to cancel my ride on Uber so I could pay him cash instead, and needless to say, I declined his polite offer. I ended up just grabbing a standard taxi just outside the airport. So back here then in Dar es Salaam. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.